Bolivia's Beni Savannah is a mosaic of habitats spread throughout the flat tropical lowlands. It is dominated by a savanna but interspersed with a variety of aquatic and forest elements. The forest habitat is variable, from the typical gallery forests found along rivers and streams to the open cerrado forested areas, to the dry forest patches similar to the Chaco forest. One forest type is very particular to the Beni Savanna ecosystem, that is the Motaku palm dominated forest islands. These are normally raised, often round, mounds of earth found within the seasonally flooded savanna that are almost always dominated by the Motaku palm. The Motaku palm is found throughout Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay, but does particularly well in Bolivia. Often forest islands are 80 to 95% this sturdy species. It is fire resistant, so can often remain standing after the passage of a strong fire, and trees can live up to 150 years old. The Barbasul Nature Reserve has large stands of Motaku palm dominated gallery forest, as well as over 25 isolated Motaku palm forest islands. So this is a young Motaku palm tree, which has a low um, cluster of fruit. Normally these are found quite higher up in the trees. This tree, by the way, is probably about 10 years old. Um, this is a cluster, a typical cluster of Motaku palm nuts, fruits. So that's the fruit, and that's basically the nut. That's after um, some animals sort of eaten away most of the meat. You can tell it's got quite a bit of meat. Um, these fruits are very popular with the blue throated macaw, with most of the macaws, with monkeys, and then they tend to fall to the ground, and then you've got all your mammals and tapir. I don't think there's a mammal on the planet that wouldn't eat this. The whole thing with palm nuts, these, these sort of rare palm trees that were really common uh, millions of years ago in the past and now are struggling to survive, is that they, you know, this is the seed dispersal idea, right? It's sort of the, the wonderful mutualism. The plant gives a gift and you give the gift of transporting the seed. These were, this was the first play on it with palm nuts. Now what, what you have are fruits, your peaches, your oranges, your mangoes. The, the attractive substance to get us mammals or birds or bats to eat the fruit is sugar um, in the form of a fructose in most fruit. But in the old days, with the palms, the first way they came up with it was with oil. And so these are full of oil. And if you know about oil, that means it's calorie rich. This is great eating. And this is sort of an amazing thing that in this environment, there exists food throughout the year. All you need to do is find it and eat it. And as we're here, there's never a, a lack of this fruit available. So there's always a oily, a fattening, high-calorie uh, food available for many of these animals.